So I have prepared summer products. When you talk about summer products, we only think about what? Sunscreens, right? And we don't have sunscreens launched here, but you'd be surprised that we have some products with SPFs in it. And I thought we can talk about this main three products that are actually launched in Canada. And let me start you off with this little baby right here. What? That's how they do it now on the YouTube, right? You <laughs> can see. So what is this lip glow? Mm. Can you see the file? All right. So let me just show you. This very humble looking lip glow. I'm sorry, but this packaging is very simple, yet it's very humble. And often people might think that it's a lip gloss or a lip balm. And honestly, this has to be one of the favorite products that I, from Autumn Atomy, one of my most favorite products. And you have to know that there's three parts to it. And first, yes, it is like a lip balm. If you tried it, it's like a lip balm. There's the moisturizing um, quality to it. But not only that, um, how many people actually, put your hand up if you put sunscreen on your lips. No one. Oh, you do. You put sunscreen on your lips. You have a very educated <laughs> decision on that. Honestly, I, you know how my lips, okay, so it has no color for a reason. Today, I'm going to need to try something. When we are in our teens or in our early 20s, what color was your lips? Pink, light pink. And as time goes by, what happens? No color or even light brown, right? It, dar it darkens over time. And actually, um, there's something called melanin in, in our lips. And what happens is that once it's burnt, once it's sun damaged, the color never comes back to pink. So this is one area that you really need to protect from sun. And I would never put sunscreen on my lips because I don't want to eat it. I don't want to taste of it. Okay. So this has SPF of 15 right there. And third is a tint in. So let me try. Hold on. Some tissue. So what happens is if it gets um, warm, don't you ever leave this in the car. It will melt and get so watery. And of course, I left it in the car today. So it gets, it's very pink. And look at my lips. I have no color. So now it's like a lip balm, right? And the day goes by, it dries up a little bit. And you will see at the, at the bottom, apply once. And if you keep applying more, you will see that. Did it just give more stronger pink? Yeah. So the more you apply, it will give you more color. And oh my God, this is when I was so young. <laughs> Do you remember? This is like three years ago. And then, um, and then I'm looking at myself. Same hair, even same sweater, but I look so different three years ago. <laughs> and here. What's in it? Rosehip oil. What's rosehip oil? Does, does anybody know rosehip oil? I never, I know rose, rose oil. Um, what I heard is that you need to have like a, a room full of roses to get like a little bucket of rosehip oil. So it takes a lot of roses to get that ingredient. Um, but at the same time, it's very expensive. Obviously, um, for, the uh, the, for the cost wise, it's on the higher side, um, but it's very, very moisturizing, rosehip oil, along with rose oil, and shea butter, jojoba esters. Those four ingredients are known to be full of vitamins and minerals and to be moisturizing per ingredient, and there's four of them. And as you can see, if you go close up, there's a little mark saying EquiCert. And what's EquiCert? So we look get into it. We Google EquiCert. What does that even mean? 
did Atomi come up with that word? Or it means EcoCert is a French organization and they certify organic ingredients. So be careful. We can't say uh, the whole lip glow is eco certified for the rosehip oil, which is the main ingredient um, of this product, is eco certified and it's huge. Oh, so what I just did is that I tissued off the tip because it does get a little darkened. And when it gets damp and hot, it can get to um, dark pink in the, on the surface. You kind of have to just wipe it down before you use. And of course, we have to compare. Um, the reason I, as soon as this launched in Korea, I jumped to buy it. I jumped to buy it because I used to use, somebody gifted me this one. Has anyone tried it? Yeah, you've heard of it, right? Christian Dior. They're very pretty in the packaging. And honestly, it's very similar. But uh, from what I remember, um, it even feels similar, but the color was a lot lighter than this. So I was hoping uh, maybe there's a little more pink um, because I'm very pale. I, I want a little more color, but it did have so much color, but it had beautiful packaging. But what happened? I used it three times and then I lost it. Of course I lose it. But did I go back and quickly buy it? I said, nah, it's okay. Cause you know, it was um, 40 something dollars. It was like almost $50 and like, it's all right. I thought, okay, for a lip balm, I can do, I can get something else for $50. It's a sells for $41 from Sephora. So let's look into it. Very similar, better packaging, of course. I'm being very uh, objective here. And 3.5 gram, I think it's almost the same in, in, the, in the weight. And it has SPF 2, SPF 10. And it's a lip balm. And the ingredient for moisturizing agent is wild mango. And loofah, you know loofah? I used to have this, um, you know, like back scrubber with a loofah, it's like a dried up sponge. Yeah, that type of um, natural ingredients it still has for moisturizing effect. But I mean, like as a consumer, you're con comparing this to that. Honestly, packaging, this is a lot more hum humbler, but what's inside, rose oil, rose oil, um, what was the other one, jojoba esters and shea butter, those are four ingredients already. I find it superior, but an SPF 15 versus 10 for Christian Dior. But how much is Atomi selling this one for? $14 with still give you points of 5,300 PV. So what does that tell you? Even before you are distributing this or whatnot, as a consumer, yeah, um, I can get three of these. Uh, if I have to pay the same amount of money, but what I'm getting is so much better. That's why, you know what? I opened a few because I keep losing them and I have one at home just by my desk. And of course, there's one in my bag and there's one for my children. Um, they always want to use what mommy uses, all the lipsticks, all the cushions. They try everything. They, they spray mist on them. But I remember mm. I got something um, as a sample. When I went to Korea, I bought some, then I bought an eyeliner from Olive Young, I think, and they give you a whole bunch of stuff. I only got an eyeliner, but they give you like a lipstick. I'm like, what? And it looked like Christian Dior Lip Glow. It turns out it was like a lip glow type of tint from another Korean company. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. It was a coral color. I brought it back. And of course my children tries it all over. What happens? Um, any lipsticks from any other companies, I don't really encourage them, but you know what, they want to play. Um, they get rashes around their mouth and that sample that I got for free they literally had rashes all over this area I said no you can't do this anymore you know what only six your skin's still so sensitive I don't think you should be using anything mommy uses but this and the lip treatment from Atomy um, no it doesn't give them anything around their lips very gentle so I feel you know what this is something safe that even six, seven year olds can use. And they use it for the photo day, no photo day. They just want to look pretty, to go to church. This is a thing um, that we even gift. You know, children's birthday parties? Oh my God, this is a huge hit. And the moms are like, what is that thing you, you gifted? Because they love it. It's like a lipstick, a lip glow, lip 
But, you know, I told them, yeah, it's very safe. Has even has SPF, it's great for um, preteens, whatever, $14. So, you know, when you have to give um, birthday gifts for your children's um, friends or school teachers, all my piano teachers, this is the, an item I never go without. I always have a few at my house, um, unless it's totally sold out. So as a consumer, love this product. And I figured, hey, um, you remember this thing we used to do? So unless you don't get paid by Atomy, would you still reach out and choose this product? Answer that question to yourself on every single product. And if the answer is yes, of course, even if they don't pay me a dollar, I think this, I'll still go for this product over other. Then this business has just become very simple and easy for you. If not, it's okay. Um, ask questions. You know what? Honestly, I don't know what the hype is, but I'm not exactly um, so happy. Then you have to ask questions. Don't be um, you know, discouraged. Say, oh, it seems like everybody loves everything. Oh, no, we are so 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 objective so we do our shopping and comparison so when we say hey we did this thorough research and we like this we say once again it's absolutely all right and we say you win <laughs> i know it's cheesy um that was one product so lip glow so sunscreen everywhere but don't forget to protect your lips with this one and you know what when we are out of sunscreen when we're out of sunscreen, what we can do is, um, I know this is almost done, sorry. But who doesn't know this product? Put your hand up if you haven't tried this beautiful piece of product called Healthy Glow Base. Okay, so if you're not really a makeup person, this uh, base idea could be very new, right? But for Korean, uh, Korean girls in general, we're exposed to many different types of um, base, base makeup. So what does that mean? Is that they try to deal with your skin tone before you put on any BB cream or um, any type of makeup. So some people are, um, they have rosacea maybe, they have, um, I don't know, it could be anything, uneven skin tone. Um, there's many, there's like a, um, if you might, I, I used to use the purple, green, pink, and then you can choose. If you have like a reddish issue going on, then you can use, um, I think it's green. If you have an even yellowish tone, then you can use pink. And purple is something I used to use because I had no complexion whatsoever because I used to have very low blood pressure. <laughs> so if I have no makeup on, I look like I'm washed out and uh, very pale. So I know um, what base makeup is, so be, literally, it's self-explanatory, makeup base. But what's so special about this one? Let's go to our website. There. Where's our website? There. All right. So if you go to our website, Healthy Glow Base, even if it's new, uh, the reason I brought it up this time is because not only it deals with your complexion as a base makeup, um, just think of this. It's um, 7.30 in the morning, you're driving your children to school and you always run into these women there. But, like There's no time to do your full makeup and whatever. What do I do? quickly do my hair up and wash my face. And I put, just a dab this on. Very pearly, right? And I'm in the mood. And if I'm like five blemishes, just a little bit of BB cream. To be honest, usually just a, a healthy glow, but quickly mix it and then quickly do that. Because you know what? This Healthy Glow, it doesn't say here, but it does have SPF of 30. Um, also, same, same thing as BB cream, has SPF of 30, just that because of storage issue and all that, they couldn't 
print it there, but I know if I don't have time to put sunscreen, blah, 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 all the different layers, I quickly dab it off and I'm out. And of course, this on my lips and I'm out the door. And I drive, you know, 10, 15 minutes, almost 20, 30 minutes back and forth. So it kind of gives you the pearly effect. Can you see? Is it? Inhale? <laughs> Nod your head if it's pearly, not you. So this is what we're going for, natural way. So I'm going out there like, yes, I wake up like this. And I get out the door like this, okay? And then I'm driving because, you know what? I am the advertisement for Adam and myself. I don't want to go out looking like, you know, I had a rough night. I can't afford to do that. So what do I do? So look at this website here. Makeup base. Three things, base and skincare, glow and moisturizing, healthy and mind. Okay, all the good adjectives are there, but how does it do it? So when they say glowing and moisturizing, um, yeah, the pearly effect, because they do have an ingredient that can help you do that. <clears throat> At the same time, it's majorly moisturizing because, because, because it has vitamin C, Acerola, um, we used to have this chewing gums. Remember, if you're, if you're in Korea in the 90s, you know this, this used to be my favorite flavor. Um, it's fruit and it's rich in vitamin C and the extract makes your skin healthy looking and resilient. So there's vitamin C right there. And um, oh, there's a tips here. So not only it gives you the pearly effect, remember it's almost like in a sense in a way it's very moisturizing. So in the morning, that's sometimes all you need, really. So tip, just the glow base alone, okay? Very natural looking. Tip two, uh, I need a bit of BB cream because you know what? Because the hormone and everything, I do break out of my mouth. Um, I need some coverage, so I need to have, I need to mix those two together. Oh, um, AA cream foundation. If you look at tip three, that is something that's available in Korea. It's heavier. I, to me, I would wear it if I have to go on the stage or I need to go out and get photos done and whatnot. It's quite, it's quite powerful in coverage, but it's a bit heavy for day to day um, in summer. But in winter, I find it very moisturizing. AA cream foundation. It's like a, it looks like a, a mineral pack. Um, I have one at, at home. Next time I may bring it. So I would say tip two and one is what people usually go for. Okay, and oh, there, rose water. We know rose, anything rose, um, seems to be very moisturizing in quality. And pearl, no wonder it gives you that pearl effect. We love, um, I think at some point, it, the, the very elaborate makeup was a thing, but now the thing is they can spend almost like an hour doing their makeup, but now the trend is, but you look like you just basically don't have much on it, but you might have just spent close to 45 minutes doing your skin base and you go out there like it's totally natural. Um, that's the thing these days, a pearl is a, uh, acerola is the fruit that we were talking about, acai berry, we all know, squalin, uh, very moisturizing. That's in the fame, I'm, I'm reading off of fame right now and um, a lot of people take it for their health, but it's in our, Healthy Glow as major ingredients. How to use? Oh, you know what? Play around with this. To me, um, I don't use so much here because I do break out every month. Um, this month is quite bad, actually. Um, I usually put around here and here. And I'm kind of oily on my forehead. So I just put a little bit. It will give you that glow. And someone told me if they're going to see their friends, they always have a bottle like in their bag. Go wash your hands and then put some on um, before you go and have your meeting and whatnot. So how much? There's all kinds of pricing. So I didn't bother to do the comparisons because you know what? Um, there's a lot of glow bases out there ranging from $20 to like $100. Um, $17, seriously, it's at the bottom, 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 bottom of the price um, positioning 
but all you gotta do is just give it a shot. Honestly, you cannot live without this after one bottle. Um, this is something that I constantly reach out for and it has SPF. It doesn't say it, it's in there. If you go to Korean website, you will see um, everything inside is almost uh, identical, just the, um, because of the storage and logistic, we just cannot have SPF on them, any of these products, but we are now. And very last one, where is it? There. Last product, unlikely for summer. Hmm. Let's see why I chose this one. I don't know if you tried a lot of other brands of mist. I've tried just um, maybe two recently before I ran into this one. And they're great. They, they have their different functions, but the very last one was um, very famous, well known in our, you know, in our friends gang before this one sort of launched because it was very hard to get our hands on. Because it's aerosol, you cannot ship this. You have to surface ship this mist and it just launched what last year. And for years and years, we were going without. So now, um, what's, what's the question that we ask when you see a, an Atomy product? So what's so special about this? First of all, I have to tell you, just, I don't know if you show. Ooh, it's nice. Oh, nice, spray on my coffee. <laughs> Do you see the mist because it's dark? Do you see? There, very, very fine mist and nothing that I tried before this is close to it. Now I can see little particles on the surface. It was more like a water spray, the ones that I tried before. Yeah, and they sort of, yeah, and then you look drip <laughs> with this one. Okay, right now, it's kind of hot, and this immediately cools you down. Did you know that? So I thought, usually people, um, well, my friends used to use mist when it was dry in fall, in winter, when there's a um, heater going on. So people used to think that, I just, at least me, I didn't know. I thought this is for quick hydration, right? Like you're drinking water when you're outside. And I thought, oh, maybe that's what it is. But this, I, re I noticed summertime issue. Use as a facial mist. So when it's really hot, try and tell me. Try. It cools you down right away. I'm hot right now. And we were talking about this in, in winter. Now I know because we we're like, what? You use it in summer, it's already so sticky, you know? We cool you down right away. And let's see what's in the ingredients. Oh, again, we have, it's gonna be rose water, right? Aloe water, lavender extract, fig extract, centella, bamboo water, oh gosh, all the good stuff in there. And how to use it? Oh, and you can use it as a body mist. Yeah, while well, you spray everywhere. And this is, um, this is a typo. The second one is a hair mist. I mean the third one. Yeah, use as a hair mist. The rosemary mist can also be used here for tangled. Oh God, my hair is always tangled. And the rich essence. And you will realize, I didn't know until later on, because you know, I, this is one product I didn't appreciate enough until later down the road because the supply was so hard. This one bottle can do toner, essence, and nutrition. Did you know in here? Well, not, not you do, do, of course. Maybe you knew that before me. All in one effect of toner, essence, and nutrition in one essential mist. So, and the natural skin nourishing rose water refreshes the skin and mind, it says. <laughs> this is amazing. And um, rose oil, uh, rose water, 20%, it says. And it says apply at least 20 centimeters away from your skin. Let it dry or you can pack to dry. So if you really haven't tried this one, um, this Wednesday we don't have meeting. 
But what we do is that we usually bring the actual products to Wednesday meeting. So you can actually try and um, to look at it. If you have any questions, you can ask then. Or uh, maybe I'll, I'll bring it a week after. So now you know that this could be another summer. So um, I never leave it in the car. Don't get it hot, it's aerosol, okay? I keep it in my bag. These guys stay in my bag, okay? And your bag, never leave it too hot, right? But, so if you're gonna be out for too long, uh, especially like 50 degrees feels like, then I don't take any products in my car, in my bag, try really not to. But, um, you know, these days, try it. So people, when, um, when you're out there, you're trying to introduce Atomy or you want to talk about these products and people find it hard, when is the best time to do it? Um, like someone said at this seminar, you know what, if you feel awkward, I usually just pull out a product and then start applying on, right? And keep doing it. And if you're out for dinner or for um, coffee, people will ask. Another good thing is the hand therapy, right? Would you like some? You can offer. And this one is great in the car. <laughs> and this, you spray this, people can see you from miles away. So I think one of the, um, a star master from Taiwan said, I'm so shy, I couldn't, uh, and so it's a guy, so he found it hard to bring up this topic at the beginning. So, and he doesn't have any hair. He'll just pull this out and then spray all over. Great conversation starter, right? Rose Ray Mist. So that's it for the three products. And I was hoping I will have some time for the cushion. Um, it will launch, right? It will launch. And quick things, when it launches, we will tell you all about it. For some packaging issue, they say it's the ingredient. Um, and I know there's a packaging issue because Canada does have um, strict codes for language and packaging. But when it does launch, uh, when it did launch briefly, it was number 23 only. This is 21. In Korea, there are two. So why did I bring this up quickly? I love this cushion. I have had, um, IOP is, IOPE is another brand and they're known for their cushion. They're, I think they're the one of the first ones that brought up. What is cushion? What is it? Why is there so many things? Looks like this, very cute. And is it a BB cream? I don't know if it will really show. But basically, this is a sunscreen with a bit of coverage. And it brightens like there's no tomorrow. And SPF of 50 and PA quadruple plus. So if you are like me, you're out and about, and you do your BB cream and and whatever, but you're out there. All I need is basically like this too. I need to protect my face. So I was at church barbecue yesterday. We we're out there. I'm getting melt. I'm made, I'm being melted. It's so hot, and I don't want to get like really burnt. So what I do? Keep bringing this out and keep putting it on. And some lady asked me, "What is that?" Oh, out of the cushion. It's pretty. Yeah. Um, and there was like literally no shade um, and start talking to her about this because people know what cushion is and this one I think it launched for like $40 right because this one has um, this container can be refilled okay so this part can pop up I don't know if I can do it yeah they have another um, a refill in the box so basically it's just under $20 per one. And not only is it great coverage, it brightens your skin tone and the great sun protection of 50. Um, you know, when you say SPF 50, that means um, UV protection from UVB. And when you say PA, PA um, plus, that's got to do with UVA protection. So you would say that this SPF 50 will last you 12 hours. Oh my God, how do I do this? And PA quadruple four is that it will protect you very nicely from UVA um, damages for very, very good coverage. 
So I'm hoping for this to launch quickly to complete our sun, summer package for everybody. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions about the product, you can type if you can, I see some messages. Okay, so you can message me if you can't um, really talk, but everyone can open your, we have a few minutes left. How do we unmute everybody? I unmuted everyone manually. Do you have any questions about any specific product or anything you want to add? Mine, you wrote, you love it. Rose hip is the seed pod. Oh. oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so Mine, she's here. Are you there? Can you unmute your... Can you unmute your... Um, Mine? I'm here, but my son's sleeping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you can't read really I love your picture. And uh, she, she, because I said, oh, rose hip, it could be um, some part, and she explained rose hip is a seed pod after the rose bloom dies. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's less of a rose hip than actual roses, right? Hi, Chandrima. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good to see you again. Yeah. Good to, Thank to see you. Thank you so much. It's mm -hmm. nice to hear. Uh, I, have a, I have one question. I joined a little bit later. So, uh, like the question is, do you have is SPF in uh, healthy glow? Is there any SPF? Yes, there's thirty. Because uh, there is nothing mentioned, right, in the product or in the uh, uh, in our website. It's mm -hmm. not mentioned. No, um, that's not the only one. Also, BB cream has SPF thirty. Okay, I'm gonna go see if the Korean site. And just like the way we can't bring our sunscreen, regular sunscreen to Canada, I, um, from what I understand, they cannot write on a product because you have to have a facility that can carry this type of product if it's over um, SPF 15, I think. And Atomy, you have to have uh, that warehouse, you have to be ha under your ownership under five years and up. So all kinds of uh, condition didn't meet yet. So they're not even thinking about um, bringing it in. So what they did, they can't bring sunscreen and just call it a cream, right? But let me see. But they brought the BB cream and the Healthy Glow, the exactly same product, right? But they had to erase, delete that mentioning. So let me go fade. So this is Korean website. Oh my God, I can't oh, wait for yeah. absolute BB. Mm -hmm. There, healthy glow base. I believe it's 30, let me double check. There. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's, so it's showing like brightening, uh, brightening, uh, brightening wrinkle cure. SPF 30 PA++. It's all in the package, yeah. They just can't write this through Health Canada. They have a lot of different laws, right? Okay. Yeah. But it's the same product. The same product, same product. Okay. Let me see if we, even lip care, right? Yeah. Oh, SPF 15, right? Oh, in the leaf care too? Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. amazing. SPF 15, uh-huh. So I don't know where six set is. Well, the BB is gonna be... Oh, they're gone, they're gone. Where's BB cream? They don't even have BB cream? Maybe it's on their face. Wait for the absolute BB or here. Even this one. The whole set is discontinued, but where is the BB? Oh, there. 
Let's give 30, PA++. The same product. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. And one more question I have. Mm -hmm. The cushion, as far I know, isn't it $40? You said like 20 uh, 2 or 21 This one? Did you say the cushion one? Yeah, it should be 40 or 41 um, but mm -hmm. there's a refill in it. But there's actually two in a box. Oh, I didn't get it. Uh, two in a box? Yeah, so there's a box of this in there and then a refill in the box. So there's basically two of inside. Only one outside, but two inside. So, oh, sorry, I, I could not see you. I was watching that Atomy page. Would you mind to show me again? Mm -hmm. So there's a full one. And okay. then in the box, there's another one of these inside the box. Oh, so the refill also or they are in the box? Yeah, so it works out to be like $20 or so. Oh, great. Yes. Exciting stuff. So, right? I'll bring it on next Wednesday. We have just under three minutes. And on Wednesday, we have no meeting. So don't come in the morning. <laughs> we're coming in the evening. So Ji Young Park's going to hold another. Yeah, we already planned for the evening. <laughs> right, Dine? Yeah. yeah, we will be there. Yeah, I yeah. can't wait. And have some good questions ready. I think we should come up with some questions. What do you think? Okay. Right. Yeah. So, um, if you have any questions, so if you have any, uh, if Chandrim has any questions, group them yeah. with me, and uh, Inhe can sort of group your um, team questions, and we will go with some kind of list, so that he's not haggled with you know, same questions back and forth. So um, the DMs and SMs can gather some some questions from their team. And then get it before Wednesday, by Tuesday night, and we can uh, we can get that going. So be there early, yeah. Okay. You know he's gonna be, like and come with very little clothes. It will get really really hot there. Yeah. Don't come in uh, long sleeves and a sweater. You will die. <laughs> you <can> come <laughs> with very little clothes, and uh, yeah, we'll do a full house. So Wednesday evening, don't miss it. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay. Good night. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Good to see you. And I think it's fun looking at products on Monday night with everybody. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, actually. I know. It's so good to see you and hear you, Mina, again. So, Mina, I'll see you on Wednesday night. Bring your baby. We all look after him together. <laughs> okay. Um, I was just going to say, I did a little quick research. The reason in Canada it's different than anywhere else is uh, sunscreen is actually marketed as medication. Oh. So that's the reason why. It's, it falls under the um, same rules as importing medication. Oh my God. Mina, you have to share with us. This thing kicks us out like automatically. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, let you, you on, on, on next, not next week, but the week after. Just remind me, and I'll I'll go over it with you. Yeah. Oh.